Good morning. Hello, hello. Welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. Today is Make It Monday. It is April 1st, 2024. So welcome to a brand new month. Time is just flying by this year. For those of you who are joining me for the first time, my name is Denise Cox and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Trail, British Columbia, Canada. Well, for one more week, two more weeks, and then I'll be moving over to Archer Wall, Saskatchewan. So um, this week is my last week of videos here from my um, home in Trail, British Columbia, um, here in the mountains. And the next time I come live after this week will be from the prairies of Saskatchewan. So stay tuned for all of that. Hello, Angelique. Hello, Kathy. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter weekend. We are actually doing our family Easter dinner tonight at my mom's. So I'm excited for that. She's got a nice ham to cook. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm looking forward to that. So say hello when you join. I'd love to see who I'm here stamping with. Today is Make It Monday, as I mentioned. And so I have a fun sketch challenge to share with you. Um, good morning, Tina. Let me pop that up on the screen here. So this is the sketch that I've created for this week. Um, and so I would love for you to play along with us. I'm going to post this over in my Bird's Nest Designs Creative Corner Facebook group. So join that if you haven't already. And then if you want to play along, create your card or project or scrapbook layout or whatever it is you want to create with that sketch and post it in the comments below. And it's just fun to share some ideas and get inspired by one another in that group. All right. So um, it's a new month. So I have a brand new host code for anybody who in Canada who wants to order with me. Let me show you the host code for the month. There it is right there on the bottom of the screen. Um, so that will be live. That host code will be live all month of April. Hi, Ina. Welcome. Uh, what else is new for April? I have a brand new Creatively Hatch. Did you guys get the email this morning? If you're on my email list, you would have popped. You would have seen that pop up in your inbox this morning. Um, it is featuring the Hey Check bundle. I love this one. Remember last thing was last week we did a card um, using that bundle and I thought why not use it for Creatively Hatched Card Club this month. Um, it is retiring so it's our one of our last chances to use it while it's current. Um, so I will share the cards once we pop down to the desk view. I will share those cards with you. Um, if you want to find out more about my Creatively Hatch, here's the link. So just go to my website, createwithbirdsnest.ca. Everything I talk about um, is usually available there. <laughs> I say usually because it's up to me to keep it updated. And sometimes I'm a little behind. But anyway, <laughs> for the most part, it's all right here, createwithbirdsnest.ca. And you can just click on classes and Creatively Hatch will show up right there with all of the information and links to subscribe. Okay, so there is a... A monthly subscription so you can join the club and be a member every single month um, or you can do just a one-time offer so if the hey check is on your list and you absolutely love them like I do and you just want to do the one-time class that's certainly an option so just visit that link and you'll find it all there hi Tanya and Alexina welcome so nice to see everybody here it is a beautiful sunny day here in trail um, the sun is shining. I don't know if it's, I think it's supposed to get up to like 20 degrees or something. I read. Anyway, that could have changed. It changes here relatively quickly. <laughs> um, okay. Are we ready to do some stamping guys? Let me take that banner off. Off the bottom there. Okay. I'm going to switch down once I'll share the sketch one more time for those of you who are just joining us now. That is the sketch we're playing with today. Pretty simple. Um, and here we are going to get started. So we are going to be playing with textured floral. Now this one is in the annual catalog. It is not retiring. However, if you wanna save 10% and get the bundle, then you need to do that by the end of April. Because when May hits, it is in the new catalog, but you have to buy each separately and you will not save that 10%. So we're gonna use these pretty flowers. You know what they say. April showers bring May flowers. So in anticipation of those beautiful flowers that are to come, we are going to play with this stamp set today. Okay, um, so here are some pieces that I have cut out. Now I do need to grab my silicone mat. 
so we can do some stamping here in a little bit. I hope that it looks okay, the camera view. My ring light decided to act up this morning, so I don't have that running, but hopefully you guys can still see everything really well. Um, so, <laughs> hi Joan, happy April Fool's Day to you too. <laughs> All right, so let's start by doing a bit of stamping. So we're gonna need this piece. I've got some flowers already pre-cut out. Got a little label cut out, and then I'll probably want to keep my inside from um, being naked and do a little bit of dressing up in there. So here are all our pieces. These are all basic white. Good morning, Bev. Hello. All right. So these are our pieces. Now the colors I've chosen to use today are Lost Lagoon, Old Olive, Petal Pink, and Fresh Freesia. So my Petal Pink, the label has totally faded. Um, but anyway, this is petal pink. <laughs> okay, so first things first, let's go ahead. I'm going to make this a birthday card. Birthday cards are what I send out the most, aside from, of course, thank you cards to all my um, customers. But birthday cards are always needed. So we're going to use the birthday blooms for you. Okay, we're going to stamp that with Lost Lagoon onto our nested essentials label. So remember, as always, there will be a blog post about today's card with links to back to the video replay and also the measurements for the pieces that I used to create the card. So be sure to check that out. Again, it'll be at createwithbirdsnest.ca. Hi, Judy. Welcome. Good morning. Okay, we're going to close up that Lost Lagoon for now. And then I do need to grab a little piece of scrap paper because we're going to do some stamping off. So we have this piece here, a little piece of grid paper. Uh, we're going to start now. We're going to switch over to Old Olive. Hello, Michelle. Um, okay, so now Old Olive, that's what we're doing. I'm going to take this off to the side. And we're going to do some stamping on these two pieces. Remember, this is our inside. This is going to be on the front of our card. Hello, Yvonne from Ontario. Nice to see you. Oh, that's Lost Lagoon. That's not what I want. I want this one. I already opened it, Old Olive. Okay. <laughs> the space I have on my desk here is not big enough this morning. All right. So we're going to start with these lovely big leaves. And we're going to stamp them in the corner over here. Oh, let me. So we're going to stamp them once like this. Okay. Now, I want to do a stamped off second generation stamp over here. But see how this still has ink on it? It's because I went off the paper. So I won't get a very true um, second generation if I do it that way. So I am going to see what would have happened. I would have dark there still. So we're going to ink it up one more time. And then I'm going to stamp the whole thing off. And then I'm going to come in here and just sort of fill in some of those white spots that are left. With the lighter green, just like that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Next, we're going to switch to these branches. So this one here is this guy. Okay. So we're going to use Old Olive again. And I'm going to just sort of come off this leaf and go like, I don't know, like that. Doesn't look like much, but stay tuned. It's going to look so pretty. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to do the same thing, kind of coming off those leaves and going up off the top of the paper like that. And then because this is such a pretty stamp, I want to put this on the inside. So I'm going to have one coming up like this. You guys, if you haven't played with the stamp, you're probably wondering, what is she talking about this being a pretty stamp? Because that doesn't look like anything. But you'll see. Okay, so we've got those coming in off the top and the bottom. And then we're done with our old olive. So next, I'm going to switch to my petal pink. So you guys, leave me comments. Let me know what you think so far. What do you <laughs> Have you played with this stamp? Do you already know what these are going to be? <laughs> okay, now we're going to switch to this stamp right here in petal pink. So this is like, um, what do you call this? Two-step stamping where you got to kind of make the, make the images. So this one, we're going to line it up. Now, trying to line this up on camera sometimes is tricky. Let me just see if I can get this. 
Okay, if I start at the top, I'm going to line those two up. I kind of put the block down, and then I just sort of turn it, and I didn't do that right. What is happening? I want, there we go. There's, see, just walk away and come back, and there it is, right there. I'm going to stamp that down. Woo, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, it just took a sec for me to get it all lined up. So again, we're going to come in here and this lined up so perfectly for me earlier <laughs> when I was playing with this stamp. But of course, I go on live video and then it's tricky. There we go. So you're just sort of filling in those florals in between the branches. Isn't that pretty? I love this. Okay, so Tanya said she was waiting to see. So now that you've seen, what do you think? Oh my gosh, my desk. I just hit the button to move my desk up. Okay, now we gotta get this again. Why is this being, there we go. So tricky. <laughs> it's not really that tricky. It's just when you're on camera, everything goes crazy. Okay, now this one lined up. And even if you don't get it perfectly lined up, it still looks really good, right? How fun is that? Okay, so that's the stamping we're gonna do on those two pieces for now. We're gonna just set those off to the side. And then I'm gonna pull in my silicone mat. Got the label already stamped. Now I cut out two of these florals. We only need one, but I wasn't sure how well I was going to be able to stamp on it. <laughs> so I cut two just in case. All right, so we're gonna switch to Fresh Freesia. All right, and then we're gonna use this big, bold, beautiful flower right here. Ink it up in Fresh Freesia. And then we're gonna line it up on this die that I already cut out. Let's see how we do. If we need to, we can stamp another one because I cut out two. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna be, I'm happy with that. We'll leave it as that. Okay, so I'll we'll take these pieces, that, we'll move this over here, and now we'll assemble this card I have created for you. So we're using a really pretty springy col color combination of Fresh Breezia, Petal Pink, and Lost Lagoon with a splash of Old Olive in there for the leaves. Now, I didn't score this very well. Look at that. Let's get the vellum out of the way. Okay, so there is our fold. Now we're doing a tent fold card. So the base is four and a quarter by 11, scored in half at five and a half. All right, then let's take a piece of Lost Lagoon and we're gonna layer that over the top like this. Oh, that did not work. Why is this being silly today? It's Monday, right? It's gonna be a challenge today. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna put this piece on here. Now, I this piece here measures three and three quarters by five. All right, and then I've got a piece of the beautiful designer series paper that is from the Lighter Than Air six by six collection. This one is retiring, you guys. So if you don't already have some of it, be sure to get your order placed because it's so beautiful. Um, that's the back side. So either side, oh gosh, either side would work. But I think we're gonna keep it to this pool party side here. Hi, Carla from Kentucky, welcome. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna stick to what I had planned here. We're gonna stick to the pool party side. Got that attached down. Now, I made this card the other night, getting prepared for the week because like I told you guys last week, like more than three quarters of my craft room is packed. So I have very limited supplies. So I thought I better be a little more prepared than normal. <laughs> so we've got, I'll show you the one I did because I'm switching things up just slightly. Um, okay, so here is our layer. What do you guys think of that? Isn't that pretty? Next thing we're gonna do is I've got another piece of Lost Lagoon that we're gonna layer our stamped piece onto. Again, I've got a nice thin border on this one. So I'm gonna actually use, oh, there's my card. That's a spoil the surprise. 
Okay, so we're going to put some Tombow glue on this one or multi-purpose glue because I want the wiggle room if I don't get it lined up quite right. So sometimes using these thin borders can be um, a little more challenging to get them lined up, but I don't know, I really like the thin border. Sometimes you just need that little pop. Okay, so there's that. We're going to grab some dimensionals. Ooh, there we go. I don't want the minis. So we're going to take this and I'm going to put dimensionals. Now I'm strategically putting them in towards the middle. And I think we'll put one inside the center there just because. <laughs> so we're going to add these. All right. Oh my goodness. I can't get those off. Okay, so I want this about center. It doesn't have to be perfect, but somewhere in the center-ish. Like that, okay. It's coming together, right? It's starting to look a little bit like that sketch that I shared. Um, okay, next, let's go ahead and get this out of the way before I forget. We're gonna attach our inside to the middle of the card. Can't even open the card this morning. Okay, <laughs> there we go. All we can do is laugh, right? So we'll just put that in there. So pretty, don't you think that is just like scream spring with the nice blooms? All right, so that's there. Then I'm gonna take my label and I'm gonna attach that on here and I'm gonna just glue it down straight. I'm not gonna put dimensionals on that one. that is going to go on here like that then i'm going to take this great big flower this really pretty flower that we stamped and i'm going to attach it with dimensionals i'm going to put that down oh my gosh i keep hitting the I have one of those desks that's like electric to go up and down from standing to sitting and I keep hitting the button. So my desk is getting higher and higher. <laughs> okay, so there is that part. What do you guys think so far? Leave me a comment, show me those thumbs and hearts up. Thumbs and hearts up. Hearts and thumbs up. It is Monday, truly it's Monday today. Okay, so there is so far. Now I cut out these beautiful um, branches and those are part of the textured floral dies. So we've got a few additional ones. They cut out the images here, but we also have some other um, foliage that we can cut out. So I've cut out two of these in lost, oh, you can't see with the glare. Two of these ones right here where my thumb is um, in Lost Lagoon. So there's lots of different options. This set is really pretty. Okay, so we're gonna take these said branches and I'm gonna put just a wee bit of Tombow glue, multi-purpose glue on the back, okay. And then I'm gonna tuck it in to kind of go with that look on that sketch that I shared. So we're just gonna tuck that in there. And then we're gonna do the same on the bottom. Oop, this side. These branches just add, like so beautiful. And as I'm gluing this right now, I'm thinking about how beautiful these would be on a scrapbook layout, like in, you know, just to add some thing, or you could cut them out with some shimmer paper. Oh my goodness, that would be beautiful too. Okay, so there is the front of our card. Now, of course, we're missing some bling. So let's add a little bit of bling to that. I had some here. I'm gonna use my festive pearls. So these guys are retiring as well um oh i only have one red one left to show you but it comes they come with red pool party silver and gold i love them because they're nice and dainty and they add just that nice little bit of sparkle um, and shiny so we're going to use those now what color shall we use today the pool party of course would blend but i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm going to use silver so let's just put a couple of silver ones down here and then maybe we'll put another silver one. 
somewhere up here on our label. And do you guys think that's enough or should we add a couple more? I don't know. Maybe we need two more up here in the corner. Kind of balance out. They're small, right? And we can never have enough bling. <laughs> okay. Yes, Tanya, a scrapbook layout would be great, wouldn't it? I think these would be so, this would be a beautiful set to make on a scrapbook layout. Okay, well, there is our card today for our Make It Monday challenge. Let me share with you the challenge right here. So that was our sketch. Um, so you can see how it's got those kind of foliage on the top and bottom. And then here is the card that we've created. So I said I, I did design this earlier and made a few little changes. So let me um, pop up the one I originally made. So can you guys spot the differences here? What I've done is I used a quarter inch border here and I switched it to an eighth here. To me, this just looks more dainty, a little bit more, um, I don't know how to say it, like a little more feminine maybe? I don't know, just a little bit more soft. Whereas this is very bold. So I, I like, personally, I like the thinner border better. But what do you guys think? Do you like the one um, on the left that we made today or the one that's more bold and shows more of the Lost Lagoon? I'd love to know because <laughs> it's kind of one of those things you either love the little borders or you don't because they're hard to line up. Um, for me, I definitely love it. So I'm seeing so many comments that you guys love this card. I'm so happy. Thank you for that. Don't forget to click that little heart button and share those hearts. Um, more elegant, Judy. That's the word I was looking for. Elegant. Yes. The thinner border is definitely more elegant. Okay, so as promised, I'm going to put these up here. You guys still keep those comments coming. But as promised, I want to share with you the Hey Chuck cards um, that I created for Creatively Hatched this month. You guys, these are so cute. So they're in their plastic wrap. Hope, well, actually, maybe I'll take them out. You won't see the board. You'll see the reflection if I don't. So here is the first card. How fun is that? Okay, and then we've got card number two. Like that one. I've got a really great fun fold too that I saw on Pinterest and I recreated um, for this one. So there is, look at that guy. Oh my gosh, you guys, what do you think of these? They're so cute. And then this is the final card right here. And see how that is kind of, it still fits in a regular envelope, but it's like a double Z fold, right? And the beautiful thing about this month's card club is that all of these are birthday cards. So you could switch them out, of course, if you want, use different sentiments, but I've created them all to be birthday cards. <laughs> so I am excited to offer this class. Um, I love the Hey Chuck stamp set. It is so adorable and I'm sad to see it leaving, but it's a great opportunity to use it for card club. So if you love Hey Chuck and you are interested in joining the club and getting this class, let me just tell you a little bit about how it works. So it is $52 here in Canada. That includes the shipping to you. It, your kit will include eight cards. So two of each of those that I shared with you. Um, you'll get to, it'll have a full PDF instruction sheet with photos that you can print. And on top of all of that, you're also gonna get at least $25 worth of stamping up product to use on your cards and then have lots left over to play with. So, so many of the members in my club comment on how much they love it. Um, it's been very popular, gaining popularity. So get in while you can <laughs> on the um, pay check. So you have from now, today, April 1st, until April 10th to sign up. The link, I'll put one more time along the bottom of the screen right here, okay? That is the link to join the club. Now you can join as a monthly subscriber and you'll get a welcome gift when you do or you can do it as a one-time only. So the one-time option is just $5 more, so it's $57. Um, again, it includes the shipping to you. Uh, you do get a little bit of a deal when you subscribe, so that is definitely the way to go. But if you just want to get the Hey Chuck, then that's your option. So all of the information can be signed found here. <laughs> um, and of course, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. Um, it is birdsnestdesigns at gmail.com. And that is what I have to share with you guys today. So I'm excited about the Hey Chuck class. I love the pretty card that we made today. Um, and I am excited for this week because I don't know if Michelle is still watching. 
but we have something really great planned for you guys on Friday. Like something we've never done before that we are going to do together. You're not going to want to miss it. And we will be sending out more information um, later this week. So we're going to iron out all the details later and get it out to you. But don't you don't want to miss this, okay? Oh, she's still here. Good. Okay, so we're going to chit chat later on today. And we're going to get everything ironed out. And we're going to be here to bring something really exciting for you on Friday evening. So don't make plans. You're going to want to be there. <laughs> um, okay. So that's all I'm going to share today. More information will be coming out about what we're doing together on Friday. Um, and I will see you then. Have a wonderful week. Cheers.